Hi everyone. Um, today's episode about Let's Talk About It, we are discussing Harvey Weinstein. Uh, my name is Iriana. I'm Fran. I'm Elizabeth. And so a little quick background about Harvey Weinstein. He's a well-known uh, producer in Hollywood. He's directed movies such as Spy Kids, Scary Movie, the Scary Movie series, Lord of the Rings, and many other movies. Uh, however, he was recently convicted of two crimes of sexual assault. Several women came forward um, with allegations that were help that were able to help um, the district attorney and um, the, his dis the district attorney uh, find him guilty for these convictions. The first conviction is first degree rape, and the second conviction is third degree sexual assault. Um, there is a quote from a district attorney that was on this case that says, Weinstein is a vicious serial sexual predator who used his power to threaten, rape, assault, trick, humiliate, and silence his victims. So I'm going to open it up to the rest of my members here to talk about it. Well, I want to go ahead and talk about sexual harassment in the workplace in general. Um, so a survey in 2016 that the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission did uh, defined sexual harassment as unwanted sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, or any verbal or physical conduct of sexual nature. Um, that same study concluded that 25 to 85 percent of women report having experienced uh, sexual harassment in the workplace. That's about one in four people that's been affected. So someone that you know, I know some, a few people that I know that have uh, gone through this. Um, it's also shown that in male dominant, dominated industries like construction, um, service-based industries where employees rely on tips um, and customer approval and low wage jobs like hotel cleaners, um, we see the highest levels of sexual harassment and mostly towards women. Um, we also know that most of our workplaces, they do have policies on sexual harassment, uh, but it's still happening. Um, so I'm wondering what can we do? Because we do have these policies and they're being implemented, but we still see like um, a high number of women and even men these days reporting to like have gone through sexual harassment at work. Um, I would just say that I know it can be very difficult for a person who is experiencing sexual harassment to come forward and to, you know, say this person is sexually harassing me. Um, but as we saw with this uh, specific case with Harvey Weinstein, um, one movement, one woman came forward and then several women um, gained that um, power and confidence to come forward. Um, and I believe like if, if it's a rule and if it's set in place that it shouldn't be happening. If you are experiencing sexual harassment, you should come forward um, regardless or not if um, it affects your career because I know a lot of these women um, you know, agreed to some of the uh, sexual assaults or kind of just didn't do anything about it because they wanted to move forward within their careers. But um, it is also important to keep um, those who are committing the sexual assaults um, responsible for what they're doing. Um, if they know, if you know it's wrong, then don't do it. Having been a victim of like sexual assault at the <coughs> workplace, it um, I can relate to this. Like it's. Um, when I went forward to my boss to let her know that what was happening, they didn't really do anything. And then the people who I, who were um, assaulting me, they um, they all got in a group and like they started ignoring me, and it was it made me feel super super uncomfortable. But um, when I want to bring it back to the when um, Lisa Bloom, who was Weinstein's um, then lawyer, she she described the behavior not as sexual harassment but as workplace misconduct. Um, she also urged women with accusations against her client to come forward. And the following day, she just resigned with nothing. She didn't say anything, and that was it from her part. Um, his attorney, Ben Brassman, calls, called the rape charges against his client absurd, um, claiming that Weinstein, car Weinstein carried on a 10-year consensual sexual affair with the women both before and after. Do we have any questions from our audience? Yes, we have one question here. Go ahead and ask. Hi there. Well, first of all, Elizabeth, I'm sorry for what you went through, and I commend you for speaking up. Uh, but secondly, um, what do you guys think about the investigative journalism that kind of helped this this guy be exposed and essentially convinced the women to speak up and and tell the world what happened to them with with Harvey Weinstein? 
Um, I know, uh, as I was doing my research about this topic, I know the New York Times has been on top of uh, Weinstein. They actually did a 2017 investigation in which they found that he had been paying off a lot of his victims for about a decade um, to not speak up about what he had done to them. Um, I think that, that investigative journalism is really valuable, and I'm glad that there's people in the media that, you know, want to do what's morally correct and they know that these are sexual assault in the workplace especially in the film industry the media it's not correct it's not correct anywhere but that there's people out there that actually you know have this code of ethics and they have these morals and that they want to um, investigate on it and seek the truth um, but that is all we have for today thank you for watching and yeah <laughs>